We are joined by Bianca Williams, who is the, the athlete, and uh, indeed a gold medal athlete, uh, who was caught up in this. Bianca Williams, good morning. Thank you for phoning the show. Can you take us through what Hi. happened? Hello. Can you take Hi, us through? Hi, good morning. Sorry. Good, good morning to you. Can you take us through what happened on Saturday night? Um, yes, yeah, Saturday afternoon. So Saturday I always afternoon. have my partner along with me, Ricardo. Um, we were on our way home from training. We had um, a dinner reservation, a lunch reservation, sorry, booked for three o'clock. Um, and we were running late anyway. We had to. We had to start the baby. We had to feed him and have, have to rush to get ready to go and give him to Ricardo's cousin. Yes. Then to look after. So as we um, we pass Westbourne Park Station, we go over the bridge, and um, we then t- that due to there being a lot of traffic and roadworks, we decided to turn right onto um, Woodfield Road. Right. I'm not familiar with that um, road. Was, is that that's not breaking the law? You're not going the wrong way down a one-way street. No, no, that? exactly, exactly. Right. No, okay. Um, and there was a TSG van opposite going in the opposite direction towards the station. Right. And what we, they, they then give us way. To, they then gave um, you a, a wave. Did you they, say they gave us way? They gave way. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, they were in the opposite direction. They then, as soon as we turn right, within seconds, they then, it will be their left. They then turn left. Yes. Um, and Ricardo said, like, I thought it was just, well, I was like, what a coincidence. Ricardo said it could be possibly following us. So we were, we, we didn't really take much notice. We didn't want to accuse the police of following us in any way. Um, so we continued to drive home. Um, but due to there being a lot of traffic in the area because of the roadworks, we then um, took a shortcut home. And the the van was still following us. Right. We then went, we then the road then took us into the high road. We then took a, a left and a right, mm-hmm. um, and the van continued to follow us. Right. Um, there was a set of traffic lights ahead, but, but we were in a rush to sort out the baby because it doesn't it doesn't it's not a quick thing sorting out a baby. You know, sure. you feed them, you change them, Absolutely. and pack their bags, get them ready to go. Um, we then. But the traffic light was red, and normally if you wait at the traffic light, it's about a good 10, 15 minute, like 10 minute wait. So we had to, we then turned right. Sorry, did, did you, you then, went through a red light, did you? No, 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 no. no. Right. You, you're coming up to a red light. Yes, we're coming up to a red light. You got the through. The light has just turned red. We turned right before the red light. Was it uh, okay? Was it sort of going amberish or whatever? Whatever it was, it going? Uh, yeah, it was still green. Well, no, we turned right before the red the red light. So it's still on green. We, no, no, no. We didn't cross the cross the red light. Right. Oh, you didn't go to the light. I'm so sorry. No, you didn't even no, go no, to no, the no. traffic lights. I see. I'm so sorry. Right. So you turn right before the lights. I've got it now. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm so sorry. Um, because you knew that there would be a, a five minute wait. Right. Gosh, we funny. went down a single width road, yep. um, and the van continued to follow us. We then um, we then went round and then back to the main road. We were that's when they pulled up next to us and um, and tried to uh, and tried to get out of the van. But right. people, Rahada said it's not safe to stop here. We have a baby in the car. We we lived like a stove thrown away, like twenty seconds away. Um, so we decided to continue driving and, and stop at the house because when we just felt a lot safer there. Our neighbours um, were there um, and our other car is there. So right. so we, they didn't think that the car was either stolen mm-hmm. and that we weren't, that we were making up an address. Like the the, the number plates are exactly the same or similar. Um, Sorry, the number and plates four, are the same. You haven't got two cars with the same number plate, obviously. We've it? got similar number plates. Similar, I see. Okay. Very similar number plates. Right, okay. Right. Um, why, why was it not safe to stop where the police initially asked you to stop, do you imagine? Because it was the middle of the road. Right. Okay. In the middle of a, a longer road and coming onto a, well, from a, ma- a minor road coming onto a major road. That's okay. not, it's not safe to stop there. I see. And is it right that it was about 20 seconds that you carried on driving? Yes, yes, instantly. We were, it was not far. Um, and as soon as we parked up at the house, um, the, van came, the van came around. We turned off the car. Um, within four seconds of the van reaching the car, the police were surrounding the car. And, and just to clarify, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. Did you, did uh, Ricardo, did your partner drive off at speed, as is suggested? No. We, we drove off safely. But 
not far. We were never on the wrong side of the road. We don't understand where that came from. So you're not... But did he go fast? No, 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 no. No, OK, right. So he drives at the regular speed on the right side of the road. You get to close to your house. The van stops. What happens next, Bianca? They then swarm the car. Um, a female officer then says, shouts, there's a baby in the car. Um, Ricardo gets out of the car and they instantly um, drag him away, put him in handcuffs. Um, and then say we can smell cannabis and then I get out of the car because I, I instantly thought that he was getting arrested so I, mm-hmm. I panicked um, I stepped out of the car um, and I said he hasn't done anything he hasn't done anything and the two female officers grabbed me um, and I said yep, we haven't done anything we haven't done anything um, they then pick out their handcuffs put me in handcuffs no before they put me in handcuffs I'm trying to get back into the car because I'm not leaving my son no, in the course. car he's three yeah. months old um like it's, it's like my mother instinct just kicked in and um, they put me in, they then put me in handcuffs. Um, I'm still filming at this time. They then put my, they take my phone out of my hand and put my hand, put my phone on the chair and said that they're detaining me under a certain section mm-hmm. um, and they're going to search the car for drugs and weapons. Right. And I just kept saying, we haven't done anything. Like you can but search the car. Well, what was happening no to your baby no when you're put in handcuffs? What happens to your son? The baby, like the baby's still in the car seat. He's still in the car. Like I wasn't allowed to, um, to to go near him. How long I had were to you stand parted outside from, of the car? How long were you not able to be with your baby, with your son? It was about thirty minutes. For like forty-five minutes. Did, did he? Was he asleep through this? Or no, no, no. He was awake. Gosh, didn't he start crying? Yes, he did. I bet. And and he what? Started the first and, and what did what was? The, yeah, what was the police reaction when the baby started crying? They they didn't let me go to him. They said that they would that they didn't let me go to him. Even the neighbour suggested that she would go and get the baby for me. Right. Sorry. That's um, right. No, don't and, worry. Thank you. Yeah. And um, and give the baby to me. The, the officer said no. Um, and I had to say to them, "Can you take the handcuffs off me, so I can go and pick up my son?" And she spoke to me in such a way that, I, like, I was going to run off, as if like, why would I run off? Right. I said to her, she said to me. Listen, You're not going, going to, to run away from your son, you. are you? You're not going to exactly. run away from your baby. Exactly. Right. Um, and the the whole event was just shocking to be honest. And once I picked up my son, I felt a lot a lot safer. Um, but the, the neighbours were around asking if we were okay. Um, they must have stayed calm. Um, I, I mean, I have to ask you. I I would imagine the fact that you're such a supremely successful athlete. I suggest you probably don't. But do you use cannabis? Oh, no, of course not. No, and, and your partner doesn't Never. Die. No, your no part- never. No, never. No, I, I have to, please don't be offended. I, I only just have to ask. No, 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 yeah. We get yeah. drug tested regularly. Yeah, I was going to um, say, it's a pretty crazy never, thing to do never, in your game. Never, never, And well, I understand your partner said, I understand your partner said, well, why don't you get a, do a drugs test on me now to the police? Is that yes, correct? Yes, he said that numerous times. Right. And they, just, they declined to do it. Okay, why do you think you were stopped? Because the car is all black and my partner is a black man. But if and they saw there because, no reason, because there is no other reason be, to stop right, the car. Right, because the van saw through your partner's uh, windscreen, which obviously is not dark, and they saw that he was a black. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, he saw he was a young black man in an expensive car. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. You're you're wholly convinced of that. Yes, yeah, I am. I am. One hundred percent. And and when the police say that uh, your partner was uh, the manner of driving raised suspicion, you, you're not. You see, some would argue. And you're perfectly entitled to do this. And by the way, the manner in which you were dealt with upon being stopped, I have really, really issues with, particularly with your son. That seems very, very clumsy and unfair. But if you're continually taking what's called a rat run, do you know what I mean? Right, right, left, left, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Some people would say, it doesn't mean you should be stopped, and it certainly doesn't mean you should be treated like that. I wonder whether that would cause suspicion, Bianca. Almost like you're trying to lose them. Do you know what I'm saying? We were going home normally from training, and yes. we'll, that, that, that's the shortcut. Yes. Well, and the, that's the, the normal shortcuts we take if there's a ridiculous amount of traffic. Of course, traffic. of course. Well, the borough commander says there's no misconduct. How do you react to that, Bianca? I don't... Hello? They haven't seen the full video, and that is why. Um, they've only seen part of the video. Yes. They, yes. they put a statement up when they saw part of the video. Right. When um, when Linford Christie put his video up. Yes. And what do you plan to do now, or you and uh, your uh, partner? What do you both plan to do about this? We're we're going to we're going to take it to the legal route. You're going to take the what? You're seeking to sue the police. 
Yes. 